Hi, and welcome to Academic Compliance Academy. In this video, I'm going to talk about crypto, cryptocurrency and crypto coin, and what is it? So we're trying to define cryptocurrency and crypto coins. And I found two really good definitions. The first is from Campbell Ferdoin from 2018. And he defines crypto coin as digitally encrypted sequences of numbers. The central novelty lies in enabling digital transactions to be undertaken both securely and with varying levels of anonymity. These transactions are verified through decentralized peer-to-peer -peer networks and then broadcasted on public ledgers that encode the transaction histories of each individual crypto coin. So here we're talking about some kind of mean and asset that represents a value that is distributed through a code, some kind of sequence of numbers. So it might be hard to grasp. So let's try to look at Forbes definition just to get like a more comprehensive understanding and definition of cryptocurrency slash coin. So Forbes define crypto as a cryptocurrency is a digital encrypted and decentralized medium of exchange. Unlike the US dollar and the euro, there's no central authority, central bank, that manages and maintains the value of cryptocurrency. Instead, these tasks are broadly distributed among cryptocurrencies uses via the internet. Okay, so what we can say is that we're talking about some kind of value that is defined by an encrypted sequence of numbers. So it, the, it, you can make transaction with these numbers that represent a certain value, but there is no backing from the financial system, from the IMF. There's no banking from a central bank. So there's no gold reserve or anything We're representing the actual value of this currency or coin. So a fun fact is also, if you look at this specific definition of crypto, it actually means hidden, secret or concealed. So I know a lot of you knows about Bitcoin and the blockchain technology where it is actually possible to backtrack who had the coin before and that is an amazing into like invention and something that is really really new but the word crypto the, the secrecy and the concealment and especially that not all of these type of currencies have uh, full transparency well it makes it hard for regulators to manage most of you know bitcoins and there are different tokens. Tokens means coin-like objects or assets because these coins are just a, represent a, like a representation of an actual code. So when we talk about coins or currency, we're actually talking about an, an accumulated volume of encrypted sequences of numbers that represent a closed area because you cannot have unlimited uh, tokens or unlimited currencies because then the value would be too low. So you kind of limit it to a certain amount and then you both actors on each side agrees that the, they one Bitcoin represents a certain amount and then you can trade with it. So what is crypto? Well, crypto is a sequence of numbers. It does not have an actual value when we talk about valuing gold or gold reserve or something that is acknowledged in the legitimate financial sector. But it has the value that we as humans, we as consumers or whoever invest or use these Bitcoins, the value that we praise on it. But let's face it, there's a lot of things that only have value because we praise on it modern design why would you pay something for a certain bag just because it has another name than the other bag it might be the same quality there are a lot of examples where human tend to give values to something that might not be the actual value so that's not a new thing but here 
the value is is represented by a sequence uh, a specific sequence of numbers so what is crypto not well this is an interesting question and that is actually where we where we tend to have the problems right now if we look at the regulation coming from the EU, both the MICA, but also the information that has to be available when you transfer funds, and that crypto now is a part of the anti-money laundering regulation, well, then we tend to ask ourselves, what, what is crypto? That is one thing, but what is crypto not? Because is this is everything. Is it every sequence of number that represents a value? It might be. The limitations are yet to be done, and that is what we will see in the near future. So one thing is that we are getting more and more knowledge on crypto, the possibilities of crypto and what it actually is. What can be harder is to put the backstop and find out what is crypto not, especially in an innovative society where everything becomes more digitalized. Well, we will have more and more values in the digital digital sphere are they then crypto they might be because they're an asset representing a value and let's face it digital is a code a sequence of numbers so let's look into that in the near future stay tuned subscribe and let's just share more knowledge